Alrighty folks, today is the big day, finally doing the bottom balance on my traction pack and as predicted it's extremely boring, um, I think the old paint dry would be even uh, more enjoyable than this. Uh, so the setup is I have the pack stripped down so I can get out all of the top terminals, I've taken the top two tiers off or I should say the top hat pack is what I call it. We have set up here just a 12 volt to 240 volt inverter and it's just powering this um, this oil filled heater here. So this is drawing at the minute about 80 amps from the string and on each string of four cells or sorry on each uh, four series string here. Uh, we've got a little pigtail terminal and on that I have a cell of 8S. Um, that's telling me that uh, what my cells are, are at there. And as we can see from this particular string Three of the cells are very closely matched, but cell four has got a much higher either state of charge or capacity than the first three cells, so that one will have to be pulled down to match uh, the tree here. And here the inverter is beeping away, it's probably going to cut out on me. So, as well as the inverter setup, uh, I've got some crock clips and cables. I got a couple of 100 watt 0.47R resistors in a bucket of water here. Now you do have to be careful doing that because they will tend to, uh, oh that's the inverter gone out, yes yes yes, they will tend to explode, uh, they tend to get some kind of steam excursion or something you could call it and they blow up. So it's as best to uh, put them on a proper heat sink, but kind of pressed for, for time today, so I'm just uh, just putting them in a bucket. So this is it. It's a question of just going across all of the strings. Uh, there's 12, there's 12 12 volt um, batteries in this pack effectively. So I have to go across them all and basically pull them down until they're on the just on the starting to climb up the uh, knee, which is at about 2.7 to 2.8 volts. These are the 16 amp hour headway cells. Total pack is 48S4P for 64 amp hours nominally, and uh, so I'm just going to keep at it and um, I'll hopefully come back when I have the entire pack bottomed out and uh, we'll charge the thing up and see what the hell happens. Okay folks, back soon. Well, the saga continues. Um, had a bit of a problem. Had a block of cells here. This string decided to go to zero volts. Now, I've got them on a power supply here, um, it's a 10 amp Agilent power supply, we're currently at about 0.87 volts and 10 amps going in, I've been trying to bring them back, I don't think that's going to happen for me. Uh, fortunately I have four spare cells in the CBR as the accessory battery so I'm going to take those out and very fortunately that these cells here are in the end of the pack so I can get at them fairly easily. So in the interim uh, I have my Agilent handheld scope here configured as a voltmeter and uh, I'm basically with the resistor bank um, going on to each cell and we're basically taking them down uh, with about a 15 amp draw on them 
uh, until we get to 2.500 volts and uh, what's happening then is that the cells are springing back up to 2.700 after about a half hour so that's the procedure so far so 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 good anyway um, now in terms of this failed block here I don't know if you can see it too well on camera but there's a black mark on that that I put on that cell that top cell there uh, when I was assembling the pack now I did that because when I got the cells from Headway there were either two or three of them I can't recall exactly but they were at about 1.6 odd volts when they were supplied to me in the, the boxes uh, so those were a suspect cell uh, so I think that may well be why these have decided to part company but so far um, it's been an extremely slow extremely boring pro process uh, but all this, the same it's got to be be done uh, and see the resistors I've got four of them in there now they're uh, OR47s so there's four of them in parallel and uh, so I'm drawing about 15 amps from a cell at 3 volts as we can see it's a slow and stately progress towards 2.5 so that's about it for now. I'm going to get them all down to 2.5 and then we'll see about uh, getting the pack back together again and charging them up. That's it for now. Well, we're still at it. Um, I gave uh, these cells about three hours three and a half hours with a 10 amp power supply they didn't come up above 0.8 of a volt so I think it's fairly safe to say that they were terminally damaged um, so I was able to swap out the uh, the four all fenders and uh, I took the four cells that I had for the accessory battery on the CBR and I put them in there it was, a very, it was a very straightforward procedure to change them as I said before fortunately they were at the end of the pack so we're now going along each cell uh, with the resistors and with the Agilent um, meter and uh, it's just a question of pulling them all down to two and a half volts and uh, getting everything back together again and charging it back up so um, I know that's not the exact procedure for for doing this but kind of got some time constraints that I have to be conscious of um, so but it is it is interesting to see that there was a hell of a lot of imbalance down the bottom end of the pack and uh, if I had driven this pack flat I would certainly uh, I'd have been changing out a lot more than than those four cells there so uh, ongoing at the minute so hope to get it back together and charged up and drive the thing home okay so our battery packs all back together again um, got every cell pulled down under 2.500 um, and we're now on charge um, it's been a full 12 hour day at this so uh, and even then I probably haven't done certain things that I should have but uh, we'll see how it behaves so I've got my 
fast charger all set here and we're currently putting uh, let me see if we can see this here, I don't know if it's going to come out cheapy camera, we're putting 40 amps into the pack now and uh, unfortunately that's about all that we can draw from the uh, three phase supply here so I'm going to try to put about 50 amp hours into the, the uh, pack and uh, see what the cells are doing then so that's it, I'm going to try and go home and get some sleep see you all after